Hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Quest 11. Uh, what do you have to say? Everybody is drunk. I've asked ar around about Kai, but nobody around here has seen him. Uh, seems he's not much of a party person. Michelle's still waiting for us back on that island. We should try to track him down as soon as we can. Alright, we will track him down then. And where do you think you're going? You're off to look for Kai, aren't you? Well, I'm coming with you. Oh, hello, Veronica. What are you doing out here? Oh, those stupid fishermen said the party was only for grown ups, so they couldn't let me in. Is every bar in the world full of stubborn idiots or something? Yes. Anyway, you're going to look for Kai, aren't you? I've got nothing better to do, so I might as well join you. Wasn't there a child over here when we spawned in? Oh, I guess that guy's not a child. Yeah, it doesn't look like that guy's actually a child. You probably... Oop, wrong way. Nope, this worked. Probably up at the shrine with his mom. Mother? Grandmother? I don't know. This is where I would wager he would be. This way, the door is locked tight. Maybe that means he's out on, uh, on the dock? Okay, that's a weird. Is that a person? Oh, hey, you're the guy who beat the tentacular, right? We owe you one, that's for sure. You should get back to Luau. I'll bet the rest of the men will be missing their guest of honor already. Unless you got some business with me. You're looking for a guy called Kai, huh? Sure, that's me. Kai Nui? Uh, to my mom, but everybody else just calls me Kai. What do you want? Remind Kai that Michelle is waiting for him? I mean, why not? Sorry, but I'm not the man from your story. You must have me mixed up with somebody else. Nonsense. Oh, you're the only Kai in Honolulu. If you never meant to marry that poor mermaid, you should never have proposed to her. Hey, go easy on the accusations, will you? People here got no love for mermaids. If they think I do, I'll be in trouble. Does it matter? <sighs> the Kai you're looking for is my grandfather, Kai Noah. I take it you've heard the tale of the mermaid's curse? Yeah. Yes, yes, your mother told us all about it. But I can't see what an old fairy tale has to do with anything. You can't keep Michelle waiting any longer. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's not a fairy tale, it's true. The fisherman from the story? That was my tutu, my grandpa. <gasps> It all happened 50 years ago, and it happened just like my ma tells it. But the story didn't end there. 
10 what years happened? after Grandpa got chased out of the village, the Kahuna's daughter, Leilani, she married another man, and they had a kid together. After the baby came, the people started to forget about Kainoa and the curse the mermaid put on him, till one day. Another great storm struck, even more violent than the one that sent my grandfather to the bottom of the sea. The kahuna's boat went down, and him and his daughter's new husband went with it. The men who survived went to break the news to Leilani, but when they got there, her and the baby, they were nowhere to be found. Okay, what happened the to The villagers him? said it was the mermaid's revenge, that she took all four of them because she couldn't have Kainoa. So they lit torches and they marched to Saikiki Beach to confront him. When they threw open the door of his hut, they couldn't believe what they saw. All of them? He'd been living all alone for the last ten years. But there he was with a baby in his arms. And the baby, it was dripping with water. Um, okay. Did the mermaid bring it back? They ran off screaming, talking about how he must have had a kid with the mermaid. And that was the last time anyone from the village went to Saikiki. Wait, but that baby must have been your mother, which would mean she was half mermaid, which would make you a quarter mermaid. Cooly cooly, don't even say it. My mother is a human being. My grandpa found her abandoned on the beach and raised her as his own. He never had a kid with a mermaid. That's just a stupid rumor made up by a bunch of superstitious fishermen. Okay, then. If that mermaid really is still out there somewhere waiting for Grandpa, there's something I want you to give her. Meet me on Saikiki Beach. It's on the other side of the cape. You can get there through the chapel at the back of the village. I'll leave the door unlocked. Why is it normally locked? Seems a bit odd to me. But then again, I'm not a member of this village. Ooh, what's that? Oh, come on. Weird getting stuck on something like that. A shell full of ripple drops? Doesn't this mean there's a save point? I thought th I thought this was a cave. Oh, this is why it's on the other side of the chapel. Crimson Coral, eh? It's a bubble! I like bubbles. This veil was my tutus. Ma said when she found him after he died, he was just lying there holding on to it. Guess there was a reason I never threw it away. If you really know where to find that mermaid, I want you to take it to her and tell her he's dead. Is that gonna... Lover's Veil. Is that gonna cause another storm? Look, 
I'm sorry if I was kind of short with you back there, but it hasn't been easy for me and my ma. After Grandpa died, they let her go back to the village and marry a local guy, but it didn't stop folks talking. But she rose above it, turned it into that story show of hers, and now that's how she makes her living. She's a smart woman, tough too. I hate that mermaid for what she's put us through, and I don't want my kids to suffer like we have. The kahuna is finally letting me sail with the other men. The curse is nearly undone. Please, take the veil and let that be an end to it. A uh, noble reason. Locked. I was hoping that there would be some sort of, uh, I don't know, book or something in there. I really haven't been forging that many craft. Ooh. That many crafts. to the mermaid let's see the way to it is over here hi Dave God, I love the warp. That would have taken forever to get to. Is she gonna attack me? I'm going for the sparkle first. Sun bleach seashell. Hello again, my friend. I'm so, so happy you've returned. It's been so long since you... Ooh, sorry. It's been so long since you went off. I got a bit concerned. I worried that your ship had sunk or Kai had gone away. That's why I'm singing happy songs to keep my tears at bay. But you don't need to know that. Seriously, shut up, Shell. The only thing that matters now is that you're safe and well. So tell me, did you find Kai? Is he as well as ever? Is he on his way to meet me here so we can be together? I'm not going to lie to you. I tell Michelle the truth. My Kai is dead? That can't be true. I don't believe a word. It's ludicrous. Ridiculous. Preposterous. Absurd. Hold a minute. What's that thing you're holding in your hand? A net of pearls and seashells on a pretty coral band? The lover's veil. You say my Kai made uh, made me this veil to wear when we were wed and cl clutch it as he passed away? You're saying that he's dead? No, please no. It can't be so. I know he'd never break that promise that he made to me. There must be some mistake. How can Kai have passed away? I nursed him back to health. I simply won't believe it till I've found out for myself. I need to meet uh, the Kai you met and hear it straight from him. Take me to Lana Lu Lulu. You can sail and I can swim. What's that? 
Why don't I come aboard? Oh, thanks. You're very kind, but there's a lot to think about. I'll follow you on behind. Okay, then. You seem a little weird. Oop, magic. There we go. What the heck? Oh, there we go. A mysterious power prevents me. Rain and his friends sail back to Lana Lulu. Uh, they drop anchor in the waters off Saikiki Beach to keep Michelle from the eyes of the fearful fishermen. If the locals see a mermaid, it'll fill their hearts with fear. I'll hide on this abandoned beach and wait for Kai right here. I'm sorry to keep asking, but this is my final plea. Would you please find the man you met and bring him back to me? Oop, not that way. This way. Did I already break that? Let's see, where would Kai be? Not in here. in here is he down is he down by it uh, with his ship again oh come on don't get stuck Where would he be? Oh, this guy's. The guy's passed out. Oh, derp. It's actually marked on the map. Okay. So, did you give that mermaid the veil? Mahalo. Thanks, friend. Sorry for making you take care of that for me. I should do something for you in return. Fix up your ship. Uh, go get you some pearls, maybe? Just say the word. Huh? You want me to go to Saikiki Beach with you? Why would you uh, want to go to a lonesome place like that? Well, if you're sure that's all you want, I guess a, a promise is a promise. Lead the way. Man. Using my wishes to fill other people's wishes. Why have you brought me here? That voice! It's music 
to my ears. I feel like I could cry. Oh, darling, tell me, is it you? My one and only Kai? Yeah, I'm Kai. Do I know you? Ah, oh, it's a mermaid! What? You're a mermaid. Oh, silly me. I'm always far too quick to jump for joy. You don't know me. I don't know you. You're not my darling boy. No, I'm not. The man you loved, he was my grandfather. He's not here anymore. Oh, that's sad. That's his grave. My darling Kai. My one true love. The one that I adored. You died alone and friendless on this cold and windswept shore? Oh, how could I forget we mermaids live 500 years? Quick as a flash, a human life just ups and disappears. Without Kai, hours seem to pass too slowly to be true. But now I see cruel time was flowing faster than I knew. Aww. Is she trying to beat herself? Thanks for finding Kai for me. You've been a proper friend. To trace my love across the sea until the bitter end. I said I would reward you, and I mean to pay that debt. You'll find your prize upon the self same island where we met. Are you rhyming? I think you're rhyming. I'm sorry I can't come along and see you on your way, but now I'm here, I can't go back. I think I have to stay. Twenty-four hours. Doesn't have to be tomorrow morning. Michelle sings a bewitching melody that reverberates off the cliffs above. She gave up her. It was I the veil that he gave her. So, so long through sun and stormy weather. But now it's time, at long, long last, we're going to be together. Your granddad's hands, you know, so soft yet strong and honest. The hands of one who'd never ever make a faithless promise. A mermaid who sets foot on land will perish in the brine. But that's all right, I got to meet my darling one last time. She just can't help it, can she? Rhyming. If I had been a human, or if he had been like me, perhaps we could have lived together, happy as can be. But I'm a mermaid. He's a man. There's no point asking why. He was my one true love. But now, it's time to say... Just turned to bubbles? Kind of looks that way. 
Is that how carbonated water is made? I can't stop thinking I've seen her somewhere before. Of course, Grandpa's cabin. <laughs> what about you? Couldn't have thought of that before she like murdered herself. this? A letter? This is Grandpa's handwriting. Dearest beloved, ever since you saved me on the day of the great storm, the dream of one day being reunited with you is all I have lived for. But now I fear that dream is over. Forgive me, my darling, but I cannot keep my promise. Some years after my boat was burned and I was exiled to this beach, the fishing fleet was hit by another great storm, and many people lost their lives. The Kahuna and his daughter Leilani's husband were among them. One night, not long afterward, I saw a woman standing on the cliffs. She had a baby in her arms. It was Leilani, the woman who was once to be my wife. That cliff? With her father and husband gone, she had lost all hope and all reason. I called out to her, but in her grief, she could not hear me. Before my disbelieving eyes, she threw herself into the ocean. I tried to save them. I did everything I could, but only the baby survived. You're fine to row back home. You're not in any pain. I wish you'd let me keep you till you're fighting fit again. Don't worry about me, Michelle. You fixed me up real good. I'm fitter than ever. Uh, ah! uh, yeah, that's very fit. It's all my fault. <laughs> I'm sorry, Michelle. I... I can't leave. I can't just be thinking of myself anymore. This child needs me. And they wouldn't have let the child become a merman. The too? villagers say Maybe? you put a curse on me, but it's only because they don't understand. They don't want what happened to me to happen to anybody else. You have to forgive them. They don't know you like I do. They don't know you at all. And what they don't know, they fear. I sometimes wonder if you're still sitting there, on that rock, still waiting for me to return. Yes. But it's too late for me now. I'll never make it back there. I'll understand if you can never forgive me, but I want you to know one thing. Mm. 
I love you. I always will. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have been so hard on you. Without you, I'd never have known all of this. Never met Michelle. All this time, I hated that mermaid for what she did to my grandfather. But now I see how he really felt. He wasn't cursed. He really loved her. And she, him. Into the strand I go. Still not. Magic. Magic me away. Do you think other people have this kind of magic in the world? Oh, come on. Make it. Laura Lee's harp? There's a note at the bottom of the chest. Rain takes it out and begins to read. Dear friend, if you're reading this, it means I've gone away. If what you said is true, I don't think I could stay. Uh, thanks for all you've done for me, and please don't feel too sad. After my Kai, you're the kindest friend I ever had. I promise that I take you to the mermaid seabed town and though i can't come with you now this harp will take you down you'll soon you're you'll find a shining whirlpool far inside the inland sea sail over to it and strum the harp to meet her majesty please tell the queen i'm happy now and there's no need to cry i'm finally reunited with my dear darling kai Perhaps one day we'll meet again, but for now, farewell. You'll be my friend until the end, and yours sincerely, Shell. Okay. Inland sea, you say. gets me there. Spardust. Where is it? Ah, there we go. There's a pillar of light on the surface of the water. Play Laura Lee's harp. was pleasant and now I'm walking on the seafloor the rainbow glows brightly one of the orbs must be nearby
Oh, wait, no. They're talking about one of these orbs. The actual, like, main quest line orbs. Blub blub? Crevens, this place is a veritable paradise under the sea. Just when you think you've seen it all, you find yourself in Mermaid Town. So we can breathe underwater now? That harp is something else. Well, now we're here, I guess we can find out if that story about the giant pearl is just an old wives' tale or not. And steal it! Finding the orb is important, but we need to talk to the Queen first. We have to tell her about Michelle. Yeah, I don't want to talk to you. You look unpleasant. Um, item shop. You know, I haven't been to an item shop in a long time. I wonder if a piece of reef repurposed as an attractive accessory. Um, two more stores at least. Darn, I was hoping that there would be something to actually revive in here. Oh. I'm floating when I jump. Hi, shark. There's no reply. It doesn't seem to understand what Rain is saying. Then. Fascinating. There's a human down here. That is the palace. Probably have to talk to uh, this person. Welcome to the palace of the queen beneath the sea. Her majesty awaits you in the throne room presently. Alas, the hall is high above and we do not be, and we do not use stairs. But if you will permit me, I'll carry you up there. Just take my hand. I'll take you up as simple as can be. So tell me, are you all prepared to meet Her Majesty? Very well then, hold on tight. We we don't want you to fall. A moment's swim and we'll be in the Queen's audience hall. Hi Queen. I welcome you to Nautica, the land beneath the waves. What brings you, Prince of Dandrasil, down to these coral caves? Huh? How do you know he's the Prince of Dundrasil? <laughs> I have a second sight that touches every quarter, by which I keep abreast of all the news above the water. Of doomed love between men and mermaids, let us later speak. First, allow me to present the item that you seek. Oh, well, that was quick and easy. I was thinking there might have been a boss Behold battle. The shining sphere of green, the orb you humans need. The treasures of the world above are marvelous indeed. Consider this my thanks for what you did for dear Michelle. Pray take it kindly, travelers, and may it serve you well. I received the green orb. I witnessed the whole sorry tale, 
It always breaks my heart. The tragedy of man and mermaid doomed to live apart. But while the mermaid's burden holds, such romances are blighted. And love between man and sea maiden fizzles unrequited. For years now, I have sought a way to remedy this curse. Alas, my every effort ends in failure or worse. You humans cannot help but seem a fragile kind to we, who live 500 years and more down here beneath the sea. But though the flame of human life burns short, it burns so bright. You never cease to struggle. No, you push, you strive, you fight. And so your kind admire our kind, but we admire in turn. It is the world tree's will that from each other we should learn. It was the world tree's will that brought Michelle and Kai together. I pray that in their next lives they may stay that way forever. So too was it the world tree's will that brought you here today. But now, dear Luminary, you must be upon your way. So set sail on the tide of time that flows ceaselessly on. And if Yggdrasil wills it, we shall meet again anon. <sighs> Remember, though the paths we walk are filled with twists and turns, all roads lead from the Tree of Life, and to the Tree return. Even you? Underwater? Awarded for easing Michelle's heart following her ill-fated interspecies romance. It was, n it was not chance that brought you here. It was the World Tree's will. No doubt she ha has some further fate in store for us two still. God. So set sail on the tide of time that flows ceaselessly on, and if Yggdrasil wills it, we shall meet again anon. Remember, though, the paths we walk are filled with twists and turns. All roads lead from the Tree of Life and to the Tree Return. Take me down! All right, I got to go over here. There's like a little bubble. Did I learn something there? I can't actually tell. All righty then. West. I was obsessed with humans around 50 years ago. When their ships sailed overhead, I'd watch them from below. Uh, there was a certain trading ship which brought me so much joy, for in its crew there was a most delightful little boy. His tiny fingers tickled on a lyre silver string, and every day from dawn to dusk the darling boy would sing. The songs he sung were nothing like the dirges of our nation. Those merry medleys moved me to this, uh, to a state of exhalation. But after just a few short years, I heard his voice no more. Perhaps he left the crew, and now he sings his songs ashore. Oh, how I wish to hear once more those heavenly refrains. Could you find him, friend, and beg that boy to sing again? Yeah, sure. Now, Blub Blub, could you sell me something? Please? I want...
I can't talk to him. Alright, fine. Okay, you give me nothing. You'll need all six or orbs to reach Yggdrasil. If you're not sure where to find them, ask the Queen of Mariana. <laughs> Welcome to the Seabell Bed Realm. Oh, humans from on high, it has been many centuries since last year kind dropped by. If you should miss the air above, just tell me and I'll send you. I have the power to summon bubbles, one of which I'll lend you. Well, travelers, what sh say you? Shall I put my plan in motion and send you and your ship back to the surface of the ocean? So I need to get way over there. Why am I out of the party? Where's the strand at? There we go. Dave, put me on a boat. Okay, so I need to go north. I'm hoping going here I'll actually put a, a teleport spot, whatever you want to call it. Thing's huge. Let's see if this is a terrible idea or not. It looks like it is a terrible idea. Backup. Uh oh. Oh, that's not bad. Darkness, hear me. Come on, just take him out. God, how many of them did you cast? Wait, you're telling me that thing had like 89 HP? That's such a weird number to have. My god, this thing has a lot of HP. Hopefully that equates to a lot of EXP. I feel better than ever. I'll take that amount of EXP. That wasn't difficult. Okay, not two. Good. I was a bit worried that there were two of them. Oh my god, 179 damage. 
Alrighty then, so there was a question. I know. So it was my wife who was questioning. Uh, she say, said that uh, with me being over halfway through this game, which apparently I am, uh, that uh, who else wants some? have I figured out what my next game is going to be? And the answer is no, not quite yet. I have yet to figure it out. Um, so it is likely to be one that I was having issues with. Yeah, so... As most of you are probably aware, uh, I have had issues with a few games, a few select games, not being able to be recorded. And I think we're going to work through that backlog. I like it when you hallucinate. Surrender your soul! God, I like it when you hallucinate. Yeah, I really thought that this thing was what was giving me the bulk of the experience. Apparently, it's the mid slimes that are doing it. They're stupid easy to kill, and it looked like they were giving me about 200 experience each. No, but uh, that got canceled. No. How do we make it? How do we make it through these? But I, but, I, but I want inside. I see that I need a key. Where is said key? Is it in here? Oh, 200 gold. I'll take it. Full healing. Love full healing. And this place is honestly something that I can farm. This island is a place for herb hermits, exiles, and other assorted outcasts. When I was younger, I got up to all sorts of pi pirating and pillaging and the like, but now I spend my me days just staring out to sea. This ain't no place for a globetrotting traveler like you. I reckon it's eight time for you. You were on your way. Eight time. Gotta break all of his pots since he's an outcast. Ooh, a mini metal. That's two er that's uh four total. The mini metals were uh a collectible and every five of them I get some sort of bonus. I haven't gotten enough of them yet to see what the bonus actually is though. Oh my god. There were just a lot more bunnies than I thought there was going to be. We 
haven't gotten that far into it. I mean, I like it, but what I'm getting at is uh, played like three levels in it, so I haven't quite yet formed an opinion of Kirby and the Forgotten. Yes, Kirby, Kirby did turn it. Come on, Jade. You're my... And stay down. Apparently that's an instant kill if it actually happens. The heck? Let's see what the bunny has to do. Oh, c we attack them first. Why do they get the first, a uh, first uh, attack? You know, it's really sad. I'm kind of enjoying not actually having to fight. Just sitting back and relaxing. Nice. It does sound cheaty. Alright, we're gonna keep this in mind in case I ever need to farm. Yep, this direction. We'll also stop here. Oh. Is that a polar? That's not a polar bear. Otter shambles? I don't like this guy. I'll be real honest. Another day, another victim. Uh, that has something to do with it. That the fact that he was dressed like a otter bear thing. <laughs> Are there any monsters here? Oh, if I could ever fly or anything, I could get over there for a bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, treasure chests. Come on, nothing over there. There's no buildings or anything on this island. We're good. I stopped there to hopefully pick it up, so in case I ever need to come back, I can teleport there. There's a pillar of light. I use the harp, and down I go. Not whirl whirlpools, they're uh, teleporters. Or I'm right warping. I'm assuming I need to go towards the castle. I'm 
I thought that tree over there was a crocodile. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna attack this thing. We'll see if we can do damage to these, uh, like, night things. Oh, we can. Okay, bye, Serena. I am doing a bit of both. Uh, grinding just to gain a couple levels while I go to where I'm 90% sure I need to go. Quit attacking her. sure to pick that up victory. this weekend. Wait, I could I need to I need to ride you. Babe. My wife just sat there and Took a deep breath in, and then exhaled like she was disappointed in us. I can't continue. What? <laughs> it looks stupid. a lot of slimes. Um, one just called for backup. I think there's more than six here now. What the? The slimes are fusing together? Alright. I, I, I'm game. I do not think Civilization 6 is on the PS4, no. Why? Slime King, enjoy your sleeping. Be gone. His crown is what's blocking the light. A hundred and ten damage. All right, what does this do for me? Six hundred and seventy-eight. That was honestly kind of pathetically low. I took the wrong path. Could you have? Me 
Mirror Stone. Hey, another red eye. Come on. All right, now, how do I get there? Oh, I got to cross the bridge. Here we go, this is more like it. An academy? Nice looking. And it's filled with monsters, too. <clears throat> Beneath the branches of the birches, daffodils sway and sing. Swing. Here among the graceful gardens, budding young ladies sing. We'll stride across the wide, wide world and hunt for many, many metals low and high. But our hearts live forever in La Academy de Notre Matre das Medallis. Alley-oop! Très bien! A splendid rendition, girls! Now, to your lesson! May you have a maximally fruitful day on your journey to become miniature ladies par excellence! All together now! Merci, Monsieur Medaille! Merci, mesdemoiselles. I like the ghoul one. Hmm. What have we here? It is not so often that we receive les visiteurs. It is a minimally common occurrence, in fact. Oh my god. Incroyable. Naruto ran. I do not believe it. Naruto man, ran. It must have been fate that brought you here. Destiny. La providence. I sense a great power within you. A power of maximal significance. There is much to discuss, but not out here, eh? Come to my office, and I will reveal all you need to know. It is nearby, a minimal distance. You will see. Two miles away. Oh my god. I was waiting for him to do it the other side as well. There's a quest over here. I'm Zazzy, the leader of the roughest, toughest girl gang in the academy. Uh, we live by a single rule. Don't do bad things to good people, but stuff the rest of them. Problem is, I've gone and broken it. Have you met uh, Madame Wallop? Uh, 
my form teacher. She's one of the good guys, but I er, accidentally stole her favorite whip and threw it down the, er, you know. She might seem to be all sweetness and light, but when she gets angry, she's seriously scary. If she finds out what I've done, she'll have my guts for garters. Uh, if I... C if I could get a replacement, I might be able to get out of this without too much trouble. But it turns out you can only make them with a fun-sized forge. I might as well face it. I'm stuffed. Hold on. You're some kind of globe-trotting adventurer, right? You haven't happened to pick up a fun-sized forge on your travels, have you? If you have, it would be amazing if you could help me out. Well, will you make me a new whip for Madame Mus... So I could get three mini medals out of this. A plus one version. Yeah, no. Okay, only quest there. Okay. What do you have for me, Headmaster? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, you must allow me to introduce myself properly. I am Maxime Medage. And this is my humble establishment, l'Académie de Notre Maître des Médailles, a school in which miniature ladies bloom into beautiful, full-grown flowers. As part of the education, we encourage our pupils to journey through all the lands of Edrea, and to gather the maximum number of mini medals they can find. So what's As all they with the earn for mini medals? medals? They immerse themselves in the cultures of the world and acquire at least a minimum of uh, how you say savoir faire. But every so often, a born medal hunter comes along. I sense this in you. I see the most maximally adroit medal detector of my career before me. Okay. However, there is one miniature problem. The academy is for young girls and young girls alone. Sadly, I cannot offer you a place here. But does this mean I will allow such potential maximal to remain untapped? Yes, yes it will. No. By the power vested in me, I hereby enroll you as an honorary member of l'Academy de Notre Maître de Madame. A student handbook. Thank you. I guess. Now to the formalities. Uh, first of all, take this. Your very own album de Madas. De quoi? What is this you are saying? You already have an album de medals from the miniature model exchange in Porto Valor? I knew it was Bon. Bon. Uh, oh god. To open that office. I have them and out albums to able adventurers in the hopes of finding a metal collector, Maximal, and now I have found you. Now that you are enrolled as an honorary student of the academy, I can give you access to the full package for elite metal detectors only. Allow me to upgrade your album to its maximum capacity. Adds more pages. For each and every mini medal that you bring to me, I will add a minuscule stamp in the album. And the more stamps you collect, the more maximally magnificent your rewards will be. 
Now go, young man. Your quest is to co collect the maximum number of mini medals as officially begun. Seek them out, pick them up, and bring them to me. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. So this isn't a required one. Oh. This is just a place to replay all of uh, everything I've done. Interesting. I'll just come over to these ones and... Oh, that's not a quest. I'll go find the other quest, because there was one, and then I'll just burn through the dialogue and see if it's for a, uh, a couple of medals. Madame de Bivor wants you to look into mysterious messages left in a student's dusty diary. Dang it, I probably should have read that. Alright, I am going to get an item shop. That's actually... This is an item shop? Weird. Oh my god, I need all the safety goggles. Ridiculously thick glasses that make it much harder to uh, mesmerize the w Oh. It's actually pretty good. Okay, Camaro Wing. Cures any ally of confusion. So what are with all these precious orbs? I had to guess, I'd probably... Queen Marina was... Back here, right? I'm gonna go south to Nam. Yep. 
horse healer. There we go. Celestial Steam? What do you have to say? Home of the ruins of no Watt. Stay a while and enjoy the hospitality. Link City, it looks like. <gasps> Out of the way, Drongos. Some of us have got sights to see. <laughs> I see this place is still full of friendly visitors. We passed through a while back on the hunt for clues about Mordigan, you see. Hmm. The beatific smile of the mural of the ruins of now what brings good fortune to all who lay eyes upon it. Well, if they believe that kind of rubbish, I'm guessing you didn't find out much of any use. <laughs> Aye, that's right, laddie. Not a sausage. But we're looking for something different now. And with the luminary with us too. I have a feeling it might be worth taking another look at those ruins with fresh eyes. Yeah, just walk we'll in. Hey, there's Thor. The town and over the top of the mountain to get there. Let's split up and see what we can find out on the way. Wait, we have to scale the whole mountain? Seems a little, uh... Ridiculous. The old man wants you to beat a uh, brawly gagger and bag some rainproof rayon, which he needs in order to make a lamp that will burn brightly forever and ever. Holy crud, ten silver ore? Well, considering. It takes me a while to find, like, two of them. Um, item shop is up here. What do we got? That's significantly better. That's significant. Trident actually does good on her, but I'm gonna go with no. What do you got here? Mr. Armor. Oh god, that's actually. But you can't use this. Plus two. Nothing. Nothing. Plus 10 for me. Ooh, that's plus 15. Oh, that's plus a lot too. Oh, especially for what's his name? That, that would be 22. Plus of 22. I might have to come back for that. Uh, 
let's get some heal, er, healing. Let's get some saving going. Is it the 8,000 steps? Mother. <laughs> Did they die? Doesn't it just break your heart? The poor things lost her parents. Again? Oh, don't cry, sweetie. It's all right. We'll help you find them. Now, why don't you tell me your name? Dora. The Explorer? My name's Dora. I came here with my mother and father. But, but then they left me behind. They said that the mural was going to make them rich. And, and then they just went. <laughs> please, please help me. I want, I want them back so badly. <laughs> They left you for a mural? Oh, that's pretty there, crappy. One. We'll find out where they've gone. Don't you worry. I'll take the town. You search the ruins, okay? Yeah, sure. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Sylve's detective agency to the rescue. Let the search begin. Gonna be shedding companions. I don't know, looks like it. Nearly there. Mural, mural on the wall. Who will be the richest of us all? I can feel it. Oh, I was right. Knickknacks and nifty knickers. Blood letters, sword breakers, sleeves, turbans, rubber gloves, and gloopy gloves. if there's something I could do to, uh, like, if I do sneeze and don't quite make it to the mutant time, if, uh, if there's a way for it to ignore that. Ah, mural. You came for a look at the mural everyone's talking about too, huh? Well, here it is. I know where that is. I guess it is pretty impressive. I still don't believe all that stuff about it being lucky, though. She's staring right at us. Hmm. She's not exactly in the best condition. But yes, you're right. She's beautiful. Where is she? Hmm. It's a key! What's that around her neck? It looks like some kind of strange key. We just need to copy it. <gasps> Not just any old strange key. Serena, that's the magic key. I'm sure of it. Magic <sighs> key? <sighs> Was that your stomach, Veronica? You're hungry again? Sheesh. That was no, very low. it was not. Maybe if you weren't so clearly distracted by this impressive lady here, you'd realize that didn't sound anything like my tummy rumbling. 
It's a glowing key. Ah. Get out of here. There she blows, and just like she looked in my dreams too. This little beauty's gonna make old Bazza rich. Hey, there's plenty of room for everybody to look, you know. Nope. Hmm. I'm claiming this. For the British I know Empire. Your game, Spikey. Well, you can't keep it all to yourselves, you know. We deserve a chance to get rich too. Stop trying to hog all the good luck, you selfish so-and-sos. Yeah. Give someone else a chance to be happy, why don't you? Um, wow, you're a I miserable you lot, aren't leave, you? Don't you? <sighs> wow. I was pretty keen to see the mural, but clearly not as keen as some. What is it? Is there something else worrying you? Huh. So you're looking for this kid's parents, huh? Well, we got nothing better to do. Let's see what we can find. There you are, my trusty sidekick! Alas, <laughs> <laughs> that person? I found no sign of the missing persons in town. Did you have any luck here? Yeah, I could go get her. Give me a bit. I need to go hmm. and grab my dog. It is a puzzling mystery indeed. Ah, but I am forgetting our young client. A detective cannot leave a child in distress. Come, we must find her. I know, baby girl. Whoopsie. Alright. I sort of missed it. We need to find wherever this magic key is, because I'm assuming it's going to open these. Um. I'm going to come back in here. Wait, a horrifying what? Otherworldly moaning emanates from within. It must be coming from the people looking at the mural. Ew. There's a person up top that I need to talk to that should directeth me. Honey, I've lost little Dora. First her parents, and now her. What's going on in this crazy village? Okay, new plan. We need to team up and look for her together. The village square is full of people. If she went that way, someone will have seen her. <coughs> oh, sorry, I didn't. I didn't get that in time. Apologies. Dora, what a vulgar name. One is most certainly not Dora, and one knows exactly where one's parents are. Thank you very much. No need to be a butt about it. <laughs> Thanks to our famous mural, 
people will buy any old rubbish if you say it'll bring them good luck. Oh, did I say that out loud? Please do not listen to me, sir. Why not take a look at my selection of Lucky Charms instead? Okay, there we go. Is she at the pub? You are visitors here, yes? You come from far, far away? Welcome to Phnom Nun. First, I should introduce myself, I think. My name is Moni, and I am Phnom Nun's number one memorabilia merchant. If you want a souvenir of your trip or some tasty local produce, you must come to me. I have the best deals in town. Uh, it's no good. We've searched high and low, but we can't find her anywhere. The poor little darling has disappeared. Hmm? You are searching for someone, yes? Then you are very lucky. Oh? Do you know how to find people? Yes. Well, no. Not me, but my wife. She is the boss of the inn in this village. She knows everything about people who are coming and going here. Agree to spend the night between our clean and sumptuous sheets, and I'm certain she will share with you her knowledge. Clean and sumptuous. You do not need to worry about the cost. The first night, we will offer entirely for free. You are happy with this deal, yes? Good. Very good. I will tell my wife that you are coming. She will be expecting you whenever you are ready. Alright, I'm ready now. Take me there. Yep, take me there. Jeez, that's a lot of food. Do I need to go upstairs? First off, welcome to our inn. My husband has told me all about you. You will be staying tonight, I think so. Hmm, a little girl who is lost? Er, why are you asking me, please? My husband said what? That I know everything about everyone? Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, he will say anything to attract customers, that one. Well, I am sorry to disappoint you, uh, but I do not know anything about your missing girl. Please do not be angry. I will let you stay one night for free, then everything will be alright, I think so. In fact, I have the room that is ready for you right now. Would you like to use it? I feel like if I go in there, I'm going to come out and it's going to be like 10,000 gold. Oh, by the way, do you know a na man named Baza? He is also a guest here, but he did not return last night. He was very keen indeed to see the mural. I hope he did not injure himself in his haste to get there. You too must be careful, please. Okay, go to the mural again, I guess. Back and forth. There she is.
Oh god, is she some sort of ghost? Oh, there's nobody here. All right, Key, what now? Hmm? Hmm, honey, there's nobody here. I thought you said you saw Dora come this way. She's in here. If she did, she's disappeared into thin air. Are you sure? No, I'm not sure. Hey, look up there! There she is. She's in the mural. How strange. The mural. It's different from the last time we were here. Uh, am I going crazy? Or... Were those people not there yesterday? And doesn't that one look a whole lot like that Baza guy, the grumpy one? The lady at the inn said he didn't come back last night. She's stealing them all. I've got a bad feeling about this. We need to get out of here now! The door shuts and locks. Oh my god, I was joking. This is no good. Uh, it won't open. You should have dove for oh, it. The mural. What the? Ah! Wait, are we inside the mural right now? What Seems is a little this odd. Place? It feels like we're dreaming, but we're not. Right? No. Nope. We're, I think we're inside the mural. Most definitely. Uh, um. And if we get lost, that doesn't we make any sense. Become the mural? Is this what happened to little Dora too? Oh, that poor, poor thing. Or maybe <laughs> she's who lures people into right, the mural. listen up. We've got a little girl to save. Let's go to work. Oh my god, it's called the other side. Look, it's our pal Baza. Hey. I said hey! What's with all the waving around? He's not listening to yes. you. What are they all doing, I wonder? And what about this mural? It's the same as the one from the ruins. Who exactly is she? A magic wielder. Or a monster shapeshifter. Huh. I don't know, but she's a charmer, all right. She's certainly got this lot under her spell. <laughs> Does my beauty not captivate you too, child? Perhaps when you were a little older. <gasps> Why so confused, little ones? I am here. Right here. I don't like the voice or the snarkiness Wait, of it. Look. 
Okay, now the snarkiness is a little better. It, it's alive. Let me see now. Red, orange, yellow, green. <laughs> yes! All the colors of the rainbow! The seven of you will be very welcome here. Especially Do you follow the rainbow? You. There's something different about you. It's something particularly vibrant. Now come, little ones. Brighten my world. Let me squeeze the color from you as I did the others. Let me add you to my masterpiece. I squeeze the color from me, eh? What? What are you talking about? <laughs> you will soon see. You will soon be immortalized in vivid streaks of color. <laughs> no, no, wait. Everyone, come back. They're looking for the mural again. Okay, you don't need to tell me what a bad idea this is, but we need to find Dora. Come on, let's go grab her and get out of here. Assuming we could get out, that is. It's all thorny. All right, I gotta do it. I know it's a trap. Uh-oh, the treasure chest is actually a colossal cannon box. Oh my god. And we're screwed. Absolutely screwed. On Rab. Mon Rab, you need to wake up. Generic. Oh my god, seriously, with the miss. Oh my god. Did I not do one of these? Dang it, come on. Not sure that that matters.
Oh my god, is it getting more difficult to damage? There goes all the healers. Literally all of them. I'm on fire. Oh my god, how did you survive? Oh, uh, it doesn't matter. You're all dead like this turn, next turn. A wasted turn. You want some? Another wasted turn. It was a terrible idea to take to take on this. Granted, I didn't quite know that it was a from your latest save, last place visited, last auto save. Is keeping me warm. Hey, they're here again. Oh, oh dear. This doesn't feel safe at all. What the heck is that? What the heck is it? Some sort of vortex? Is that how they become paint? Watch out! It's looking this way. So this thing has been luring folks in here so can have them for dinner, eh? Oh, lucky old us. <gasps> Careful! I'm glowing and it's... Afraid of me? We need to run right now. <laughs> the heck is that? Rubble? Is it a graveyard or a gravesite? What's this? Grave marker? Why has it been smashed to pieces? It's a message. It seems to have been written by the person who discovered the mural. I have found a great fresco in the ruins near Phnomnon. It seems to be several centuries old. It has a strange power. 
At first I thought it was a power for good. That this was how people had been drawn here. How the town had grown great. But now I see that it is evil. That it lures the greedy with promises of riches so that it might feast on their souls. And those too pure of heart to tempt with greed, it lures through pity. Beware the little lost girl. She will lead you to your doom. Oh, jeez. <gasps> the little lost girl. Dora. I do not so this whole that thing explorer. was just some elaborate trap? Well, that's just great. I think it's time to get out of here, don't you? Quick, jump! Could this be... <gasps> it it is! Reality. It's the crack we saw when we first went to look at the mural. I think she's right, you know. This could be our way out of here. <laughs> oh, it's mad. It's coming for us. There's one way to find out. Here goes nothing. I think we're about boss battle. <laughs> Well, I've made more graceful entrances. Is everybody okay? Yeah, I'm fine. More or less. Anyway, I'm just glad we got out of there. We have to let everyone know the truth about the mural. Come on, let's get back to the village. What about the key, though? God, that was quick. I definitely need to save. It's been a while since we've had, like, a legitimate boss fight, so we should be coming up on one. And I'm assuming the villagers aren't going to believe me, and I'm going to have to, uh... Oh, I don't know, probably take it out? Instead of just run away? You see me telling all the villagers right now? All the villagers have been told. Well, look who it is. Dora? <laughs> well, that sounds yes, fun. you should. Yeah. Well, um, mm. I had heard rumors about the mural. That's why I'm here, to be honest. But can what you just told me really be true? <laughs> yes, it's true, it's true. The big painting cured me. All I had to do was look at it. It will do the same for you, I'm sure. <laughs> well, I suppose I'd better go and take a look right away then. <laughs> Thank you, young lady. Creepy. <laughs> it's different now. <laughs> Yeah, she laughed. Another satisfied customer, huh, young lady? Another lamb to the slaughter, more like. <gasps> you sound familiar. But how? I had you in my clutches. You should be part of my masterpiece by now. You've lured your last unwitting victim into that painting of yours. You must go back and let them all out this instant. You can't keep all those poor people trapped in there. You are wrong. She Come can. Come on. There's no point playing innocent anymore. Just let everyone go, will you? Why would she? Open the door.
That was creepy. Uh, even creepier. Let them go? When my great work is so close to completion? Fools. Thanks to the gift of that greatest of beings, I have the power to paint their memories onto the very canvas of time! Does that already happen? you will convince me to release them. Come to my world! Bring it to life with the bright brush strokes of battle! And just disappears. Wait! Before you go, this greatest of beings, who do you mean exactly? <laughs> Why would I tell you that? <laughs> just ignore well, it. I, for one, don't intend to let her get away with this. Come on, let's get back to that mural. Okay, I don't need any healing or anything like that. I always need to save. Always. Even when I don't need to save. By the way, I'm still only 21. Level 21. Yeah, apparently that was the recommended level for facing that spider. God, running back and forth through this is kind of annoying. I wish they did this section better. Am I gonna get the key now? A key, a key. That, that's not another person, is it? The mural is glowing intensely. Cross over to the other side. Don't worry, I'll still go murder it. It'll be D-E-D -E -D dead. Yes, I do know how old that joke is. Problem is, nobody will know the reference. Because it's an inside joke. voice echoes from afar. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. Ah, there you are. Such pretty little splashes of color. And so kind of you to visit me in my world. Now that the canvas has been prepared, let the brutal artistry of battle commence. Hmm. Oh, that went through without me clicking. Love it when that happens. Oh, the vines just moved. Up we go. Into the purple mist. Curse Cloisters mid love. Wait, what? Upper love. Hey, look, more umbrella thingies. Oh my god, I hate it. 
How do I get to the accursed altar? Platinum platter? Oh, what was that baby girl? She burped. She burped very loudly. Oh my god, I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. It looks like I'm supposed to go that way. I need to check up here. Ah, dang it. I was trying to run away. Our work isn't done yet. The heck was that? Oh, you just stole my MP. Annabelle, those aren't your treats. Some Tabasco sauce, baby girl? Why was there Tabasco sauce in the couch? May heaven's winds propel thee hence! I found it! Is that what you want? God, Annabelle. I have no idea how you could find all of these. My dog has a magical ability of finding stuff that's been lost for for months. Just when she gets the hankering to actually either A, play with them, or B, chew them. It's usually the latter. This looks like a trap. I actually haven't been checking. Did I get anything? You've earned the ability to choose outfits for this character. So exciting. Devil's Tale. Oh, agility. Um, let's see. Rab's king. You know what I should do? I should probably do one of these character builder. Yeah, Eric. So I know that there was like a double allows weapon to be, be equipped in the right hand as well. I don't know. Oh, jeez. Too expensive. Let's see. Magic wielding. What is this one? Staff of Salvation restores at least 50 HP to a single ally. Okay, restores one to two. Purple sparkles protect a single party member. Can't get either of those. So, Vondo, you probably don't have. Nope. Jade, fisticuffs, spears, 
Isn't this what you have? Increase maximum HP. Increase agility. Heavy damage to beast family monsters. God, I don't know what. I think the... I think these are just incredible. Holy crud. So I could do 5, 30, 10. And then agility. So 7, 8 is 15, 25. We'll go this route. Won't be quite all of them, but you know what? Pretty close. Rab. What what exactly is light? Skills and stat boosts available only to masters of the meditative method it includes improvements to a range of attributes, mainly MP. Okay. Mightiest of magical implements. Now, we're going to go with Magical Mending or Magical Might, actually. What is this? Oh, that's a lot of MP right there. Maybe I should do one of these, though. What does that actually unlock? Caster Sugar. Slightly increases the effectiveness of the user's spell. It's a, it's a pep power. I get it. Alright, uh, increase attack power with wielding swords. That's, that's good. Just three HP gain, or, uh, three extra damage is nice. Alright, we're all leveled up. We should be doing enough excess damage, or some extra damage. scared by all the marionettes right in a row. I don't think I'm going to touch them, any of them, but... God, I hope there's like a save part. Because this is actually quite a lot of running. Heh. <laughs> that would be funny. Joke's on me, I'm not even going the right direction. cloth oh thank god god this would have been incredibly annoying still incredibly annoying very don't save again <laughs> it's over. 
We've got you cornered! Cornered? <laughs> Did you want some Tabasco sauce? It is you who have painted yourselves into a corner. Poor drab fools! <laughs> Why did you do all of this? Why? For beauty, of course. For my masterpiece. Each of you will be a splash of color on my magnificent canvas. You should welcome such a fate. Oh, how I wish that greatest of beings had given me this gift sooner. Crossing dimensions, collecting colors with which to adorn my work! Such fun! Weird. And the world is so much better for it. You allow your basest urges to bring you to me, and I transform you into something altogether less ugly. Yeah, <laughs> everyone is ugly. I do not lie when I say the mirror brings fortune. It brings the good fortune of becoming a part of my masterpiece! <laughs> Look out, everyone! No more Tabasco sauce. Something tells me she has an annoying ailment or two up her sleeve. Fudge! Give in to me. Mesmerized! Wait a minute. Eric, I don't like you though. You rag, honey! May heaven's winds propel thee hence! Don't be mesmerized. Don't be mesmerized. Lava. This isn't working well. I'm coming, darling. All right, spell. Oh, my God, I don't have anything. I can't heal them. I know, baby. 
Okay, I have to heal myself. If Silvando dies, that's fine, because he can't really effectively heal. Oh my god, that was a lot of damage. Oh my god, that was double damage. Like 30, if I had to wager a guess. Thank you. Is it my turn? So a Yeah, so there's no way we're going to apparently beat this just because the recommended level is mid is mid to upper 20s. Oh, that didn't do well. Yeah, it looks like it's RNG heavy. Okay. And everybody's dead. Oh, not everybody. Jade. I just realized that Jade's tactics are not set up for an all-out attack. Not that it matters, but... Oh, she is set up. Never mind. Ooh. She just, I guess, isn't using any MP. How did that not kill me? I'm just going to do it from last save because there's no point in doing it. Oh, I guess 243 gold loss isn't that bad. So, back we go. Alright, so... It got mesmerized by its own muscles. Interesting. Hot 
stuff coming through! Ah, Kraken! What the I'm heck? Stay down. I was I not expecting it it, to take it out. All right, let's see which one of these is better to fight. Oh god, Zubando's probably dead here. No, apparently not. Don't worry, I'm here to help. Oh my god! I didn't realize that that was an insta-kill if it hit. Almost dead. Just take him out. Or not. Apparently. One eight. It was at one HP. Another day. Another. Okay. Love. that uh, curse to be lifted. See how you like this! Pull your socks up. I love how there's a mid heal and a more heal. 
Oh my god, how much HP does he have? I know it was lower than I expected, but still seems higher than. There we go. I just like the fact that every fight I'm in is actually causing a level up. Brawly gaggers. Yeah, take him out. One more. Ah, not bad at all. Oh, jeez, what was that? God, 167 inch. Now this will be the interesting one. Just one marionette? Well that was easy. How much do I get for a single? Almost 200. So this would be about 700 experience. God, I really love the fact that you can, in fact, uh, just do no actual battle interaction. Sure, it's probably a lot less effective in the long run, but it's quicker in the long run as well. Thank goodness. No, I was very, very wrong on the amount of uh, experience I was going to get there. Another a even cloth. Leave it. 
to me. Whoa. Yeah, okay, that's an attack I've never seen. Finally, one where I didn't get a a uh, level up. Okay, they do respawn. Not only do they respawn, it also looks like uh like items respawn too. So I go. 21 to 22. I don't think I did much better than that. Ah, dang it. All right. That was a good one. Victory! 25,000 gold. Jockalese. It's the first time I've actually read its name. Darn, I actually want Rab to be the one that's attacking if anyone has to, of my healers. Basically, the only way that I'm worried that I could die. If I just get unlucky during one of these. I wish there was a full party heal that I had access to right yet. Oh my god, rap. Hear me. Oh my god, that reheal actually live her cause me to live. I wish I could put uh, healing on a uh, priority list. You know, 
this character needs to be healed before this character does type deal. Wonderful. Oh, goody. All right, now that I actually have a bunch, that one was a terrible one. Minor MP recovery. Here we go. Adds another healer, technically. All right, so Vondo, anything. Dragon Slash. One more level for you. Jade. What do you got here? Pep Power Peace. Vacuum Smash, a supersonic kick that sends a shock wave uh, slamming into a group of enemies. Magic Might. I think the MP is very is going to be very very helpful. Or should I get the agility? Either way, I don't have enough for it. Ooh, a metal slime. Take care. Dang it! I'm very upset that the metal slime actually. Ran away the immediately. It would have been great to get an extra two, not two grand in, um, in healing or in experience. Versus immobilization. <laughs> Whoa, what is the what is the gold one? What is the gold one? This is just a stronger one? No, no, no. has so much more so much more HP than uh, its counterpart Starting to uh, run into a situation where Ooh. 
where we can no longer attack it. It could actually pep up. that this is going to be like an absolute crap ton of experience. There we go. Did I do all right? Oh, that's not a crap ton of experience. Thunderball. That was enough damage that I really need to uh, go and uh, get a heal in them. Still. Let's go. that not take him out. <laughs> but that did. Metal slime, please don't run away. I'm ready for anything. Get to say it, Jade, but oh dear. Let's see. Oh, it's an ability. It's metal slash. Really? enemies with the blazing wall of fire. Oh, that didn't do any bonus. Ah, not 
bad at all. Ten thousand experience. Goody. The great Silvando grows even greater. Oh my god. Purple eye. And just straight come back. That's a lot of experience if I die. That took me up two levels? A level and a half? That saved me like 15 plus attacks. Or 15 plus battles. God, you just focused her, didn't you? Darkness, hear me. God, I really, really wish that uh, I, I could get right? another liquid. Metal. Oh, my God, did. I just get unmagic. Yep, I got unmagic. That's really bad considering that's all she does. The heck was that? I've never seen that one before. I didn't realize that you could get uh, pepped up. Ah, dang it. Ah, dang it. Oh, you stay away from rap.
That was a nice attack. Score one for the good guys. Okay, no gold one. Good. If there was a gold one, I might have had to run. One attack. Do they have a variable amount of health? Got here. All right, what ability do we have unlocked? Assassin stab an attack on an enemy's weak point that can sometimes kill them instantly. Of course, something that uh, can't help bosses. All right, dragon slash or attack power. Reveal. Uh, Jade, do you have anything? Nope, 16 cost. What does the claws do? Increase attack power, just attack power when wielding claws, increase charm. What does this one do? Increase resilience. Send a kiss sailing toward a single enemy that can stop them in their tracks. Resilience or charm. I think we're going to go with the charm option when we have access. Now, what is this one for you? Miracle Slash, a mysterious attack that hurts an enemy while healing the user. Attack power when wielding swords. Increase the probability of scoring a critical. Ooh, that's good. A secret one-handed sword technique that assails all enemies with bolts of blazing lightning. A double slicing attack faster than falcon on the wing. Okay, up, back up we go. Nothing spawned. Oh wow, I actually killed it quickly. One more attack should do it. So it is a time thing. Not a distance for, uh, so it's a time thing, not a distance thing for all the enemies to reach, uh, heal. Level 
double or come back after being killed. God, how much HP does this one That answers that question. Alright, I'm gonna go and kill uh, these two things again because this is where the liquid metal came from after that's done I'm going to attempt the boss hot stuff coming through let the darkness consume you go that's uh two levels hopefully this will be another one Silvando, you have a the lot of magical damage. Exactly, it's thin essence. It seems like that, or that sounds uh, like it's a consumable thin essence. Here's a seed of magic. Here we go. Concoction of condensed combat abilities. But nothing happens. It's a good thing it didn't just disappear. Alright, we'll get this heal in, this save in. So we're going to try this fight. Hopefully it all goes well. If it does not, we are going to end it here just because uh, I'm going to... Uh, I don't want to restart it because I'll lose it's like 1,500. Over. We've got you cornered! <laughs> Take care! It's you there, Carla. Oh god dang it. Oh. Let the darkness consume you. Thank you, Silvando. Grab. 
but why didn't Stop. you attempt to heal? Oh. <sighs> Snap her out of it. Okay, I need the tactics. Silvando, you are now under my Okay, control. here we go. Oh. Abilities. A, a short slap, a uh, sharp shock that can snap a fellow party member out of sleep confusion. Beguilement and paralysis. Spells reheal tingle. <laughs> Sleep whoosh. Oh my god, what is it? I'm assuming it's this. Snap out of it! Come on, Rab. I don't know what to do now. I think we're good. So I'm going to bring you back to show no mercy. Okay. Until we need to take over you again. Uh, uh, take you over again. Darkness, hear me! Ah, oh, Jade. Surrender. Stay strong, my loves. Yeah, keep Jade uh almost doubling her damage. God, I really wish Rab would have been the one to. So you're under my command, you're under my command, and you're under my All command right. this round. So spells. Pull your socks up. It wasn't spells, it was ability. Snap out of it! Spells, mid heal on wrap. More important than 
Jade is right now. Now you're back to your fight wisely, fight wisely, and show them. Let's go! Wando, hate doing this. I'm ready for anything. <laughs> Leave it to me. Alright, ability, sobering slap. Jade. Safety first. God Rab's still alive. Alright, I want to see. Okay, so she's more than half down. And an attack that can damage... Okay, no. Nope. She hasn't flicked me yet. Nice when I do double a normal attack. Lately, he's that bubble looks better. Thanks. Here, princess. Don't give up yet. Cheers. Ooh, that was a. Great. I actually beat her. Score one for the good guys. Things are looking up. Yo, a new spell is learned. Crackle. Can't it? Why can't you it? You will never defeat my master, my muse, my inspiration, my Mordagon. <gasps> Mordagon. <laughs> when his vision is at last realized, when his world comes into being. I shall return. Wait! You have to tell us more about Mordigan. I don't think she does. <laughs> you will learn more soon enough. Master, 
Okay. Mordigan. Finally, we're getting close. Wait. We know that he corrupted an ancient kingdom by possessing one of its most powerful people. Could now what be the ruins of that kingdom? She said something about wanting him to live forever. Is that what Mordigan wants? Is that what all this has been about? Someone's pursuit for the immortality. Key, eh? Well, if nothing else, we'll be able to open a door or two we couldn't before. Who knows what we'll find? Hopefully, something good. Well, there's a nice wee bonus for our troubles, eh? Now, I don't know about you, but I'm about ready to leave this accursed place. You and me both. Now that ah, the other side is. There's really no worry. There shouldn't be a second boss battle. Well, well. I guess we saved the day again. What is happening, please? So many people are coming out of the ruins. <gasps> what in the name of heaven? We killed it! You have done something to our mural. Where is it? Tell me! Mm. No, you tell him. We're free. We're back in the real world. Thank crikey for that. <laughs> and don't come back, you stupid painting. <laughs> the real world? What is he talking about, please? No, you are lying. The mural did all these terrible things? Most definitely. If this is true, then we owe you a great debt, friends. Come. You must stay at our inn again this evening. Free of charge, of course. I knew I liked you. Right, little girl. I trust you had a restful sleep. Please come again. And I never will. Ooh, nine grand. We're definitely going to pull that out in the next town, though. Ah, I can't jump down. Of course, that would be way too easy. Oh, you're leaving already? Yes, Monty. I must thank you before you go. You have saved our town and given me many great new business ideas into the bargain. Wait. Goodbye to what the idea home of the fortune you? bringing mural. And hello to the town of the mural that swallows humans whole. <laughs> Tourists love scary stories. Now Tourists just go. love anything I have a to fresh look at. batch of replica murals to sell. They certainly know how to spin a set back into a sail round these parts, eh? We'd better be putting our best foot forward, too. Why don't we get out there and see what that magic key unlocks? Okay. I'm sure I remember seeing a door with the same symbol as the key on it over in Svartsrust. It was near that Warrior's Rest Inn. But let's not get too bogged down in the old treasure hunting, though, eh, laddie? There's more again we really need to be worried about. I'm more certain than ever that he's the one behind the change in King Carnelian.
Gav's right. We need to get moving. I don't know how Mordigan's planning on achieving eternal life, but I know one thing. We're going to stop him. Darkheart, awarded for defeating Dora in Grey, evil ruler of the realm beyond the mural, and saving the poor souls trapped on the other side. So I'm going to go back up there and just unlock that, uh, that uh, treasure chest. Pretty sure there was one up here. Or on the other side. That'll also make it so I probably will never have to come back here. Probably. I'm gonna laugh if it doesn't actually work for this. Wait, what? Items. Important items. Magic key? Open any door adjourn adjourned with the same mural. Alright, magic. Me zoom. Yes, it's sad, but it's quicker than running. Now what do I need to do? Search every corner of her trail. I'm going to try down here. Why are you pickles? The heck? So that shiny light. Platinum ore. Woo! Hopefully that's actually good. Gloomy gloves. Holy Crap. Need to find more magic B sides. So I can make two things. Not worth it, not worth it. That's useful for him. Oh, come on. Swords? Nope. Knives. Nope. Nope. Armor. Here we go.
So that's good for Silvando. Silvando is a good. good character to build for. Here we go. This is actually what I was looking for, because these are so much stronger for, like, everybody. I thought I had... I don't have enough focus. Ah, dang it. Strong vertical strike over two. A double strength strike on a single square. God, that would have been so much nicer. Yeah, it probably wouldn't finish. But you know what? I can't. I can't. So they're probably just base, aren't they? Alright. Forge armor. Annabelle, I heard that. I need a platinum and a gold. Actually, I need more than that. I'm happy I learned how to do this now. Uh, give me a second. I need to go and let my dog out. Oh, I didn't realize that, uh... Power of next strike is halved.
got nothing. This was a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be forging. The first two were actually pretty easy. Let's see if I can build anything else. I probably should have built this first. Because just looking at it, it's... Oh my god. probably turn out brilliantly. Let's see, is there... Okay, I don't think I could get that. Oh, plus three. Holy crap. All right, so Wando. Oh, you have the Wayfarer's clothes. What does the plus three give it? What is, what exactly is deftness? Apologies, had to let, uh, let my dog in. Got here. Sword would be nice. Holy crud, the trident on her would be amazing. Han enchanted earrings that cause wind damage to dwindle. All right. I think um 
comfortable saving after that uh, forging session. Okay, and down we go. Ah, screw it. I need to actually know what the heck is going on. Annabelle. Huh! May heaven's winds propel thee hence! Surrender your soul! Baby girl. They're just... They're just blowing the snow. Oop, there was a item over Celestial skin. The heck? Okay. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Let's see, this one should get us closer to where I want to run. But quite a bit, actually. Don't be a stupid treasure chest. Enchanted stone. What am I doing? Just jump down. It'll be quicker than trying to whatever I had to do. Vanguard? Is that a shield? It says that I can set foot on there. Not that it's really gonna do anything for me, but figured it would nice to be nice to do it. It's a flintstone. God, I'm just getting all the loot. Hi, bunnies. This way to the eerie, eerie. 
Enter at your own risk. Condor's Crag? I'm going to save it here because this is actually on the right path. If I don't save it, I'm going to completely ignore something. End up possibly, you know, not being here. How do I go up? Can't go up there. Oh, I see the pathway. Rotten exoskeleton. Well, that was. Well, that was easy. I completely ignored that. How much experience did I get from that? Can I jump this? Nope. I still have to follow the exact path. Or not. Come on. Thunderball. What the heck is a thunderball? What's this uh, slime bag called? Medi slime? Victory! Three hundred and fifty experience for that. Yeah, I was gonna say, I have a feeling like I shouldn't be able to do that. Oh god, there's a lot of them.
fleeting song. Way too high. Where am I? Okay, I see how to get through. Yay, a mini metal. That's the fifth. There is technically a way to jump down. I'm ready for anything. Eighty, and it still didn't die. God, so many, so many treasure chests in this area. I feel like I fell. I feel like I shouldn't have jumped down. Yep, I went the wrong way. Gosh darn it. Magic. I wonder if that means I get a boost of uh, of MP when using it too.
Alright, so I know not to jump down, so instead we'll lower the vine, now I could go down, and actually rest. Then I could go back up. Oh, I don't know if I actually needed this guy or not. How wonderful. Another day, another victory. Beast bone. Platinum gold and a purple eye. A prayer ring. I wonder if that's... Well, getting it this late, I'm assuming it's actually a decent... see what did I pick up prayer rank here we go defense and charm a clairvoyance card imbued with the power to increase the chance of striking first in battle we'll throw this oh the striking first Right there. No bonuses. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, then me. Okay, 
All equipped. Build better birds? What's with all the birds? Ah, dang it. Hey, these condors. Oh, that was that was easy. Ka, what are you doing here, humans? If you're thinking if you're thinking of feathering your nest with my treasure, you've got another thing coming. Ka. Stay focused. Why do I have a feeling like you're gonna be stupid hard? And by stupid hard I mean you're gonna call all of these things. Why would you need to more heal yourself? Nice shield. God, I like the fact that I'm doing so much damage so quickly. Jade, you do so much damage. Gotta keep you alive. Not that there was any doubt in my mind that you would die. Well, that was easy. The great Silvanda grows even greater. A silver orb. Yes, we finally got our hands on the... But don't rest on your laurels just yet, Rain. We can't stop searching till we found all six. How many... Just curious. Items. Important items. One, two, three, four. I want to actually walk back because I think that there might be a uh, treasure chest on the way. And 
by on the way, I mean this direction. Okay, magic, we will. Wrong one. Zoom. I want to go up into this area here. Uh. It stands to reason that on each major continent, there's probably going to be at least one. And it looks like off on the left, we've never even checked before. Assuming it's this direction, right? Ah, I thought maybe that was the uh, for the key. Yeah, we've legit never, never even wandered this direction. Ooh, ton of gold coins. I see the sparkle, how do I get past? They're not a way past. Are you all right? The magic key will let us open all sorts of new doors, Grain. Doors we wouldn't have been able to open before. Just keep an eye out for doors decorated with its special symbol. Apparently not this direction, though. If it glows again, then I'm assuming it is down in those doors below us. Actually, I'm going to check this one. Because they do have different entryways. Hey, it worked. Joker. The purple orb. Woohoo, honey, we did it. We got the purple orb, and it's still in one piece, too. If we carry on like this, the whole set before we'll have the whole set before we know it. Alright. I want to get attacked. Enchanted stone. A recipe book. Classy cobbler for the Kangly Kids. What oh, baby girl? Do you want to go to sleep? You could go to sleep, eat.
All right. I think my dog is trying to tell me the heck that it is time to go to bed. So I'm going to go over, get the uh, safe spot, and then I'm going to call it a night. Yeah, let's not touch that again. So that's bad. Ah, here we go. Alrighty then. Well, now that I got it saved, I am going to end it here. Uh, we've made actually quite a ton of progress in this uh, in this stream. Uh, hopefully, uh, next stream uh, we will actually get either real close to the end or beat the game. That way, we can. Uh, go on to the next one uh, but with that said I am going to call it here uh, make sure to leave a like subscribe follow whatever platform you're on and I will see you guys in the next one bye bye <laughs>